All right, so this is a video of some tips, tricks, and mods for the Bixler 2. If you guys have this plane, you know it's an awesome plane. It flies great. But there's a few things about it that I would change. And uh, here's a few things that you guys can do to make your plane fly better. So number one is the wing joining. So this plane, they came up with this new system where basically you take these two screws. You, you're supposed to put it in the bottom of the plane, thread it through these tiny little holes here, and then that goes through both wings, and that's what holds it together. So what you want to do is you want to get some of those plastic hooks, like the 3M hooks, and you want to put it down on each side of the plane. And taking a pen, uh, just cut a little a little section of this, the width of the fuselage, and I just glued it right there on the top there. So I, I hauled out a bit of the foam. I took that little section of pen, glued it right in there, and then you can run a little rubber band going through that tunnel from the pen and it joins the wing together nicely and so this is perfect uh, with a rubber band it's got some give for some of those rough landings and it's super super easy to just unhook those rubber bands and then pull the wings apart so this is my favorite method definitely for keeping those wings together number two is wiring so the other problem with taking apart your wings and putting them back together is the wiring from the wings to the receiver so the easiest way to do that I find is basically take a Y harness and have it permanently plugged into your receiver. So here's the receiver and then basically run that Y harness all the way back up through the holes one time to um, both exits where the wings are. And so I took two Y harnesses, one for the flaps, one for the ailerons. I glued them together so that they're always together and I just have them kind of sitting there. And you'll see right here I kind of hollowed out a little bit of foam. And so that's where they're going to exit. So that way you can you can tuck all the wires in through there, make it nice and neat um, while you have it hooked up. So basically you just take each wing, um, take the flap servo, the aileron servo, and hook it up to the each wire harness. Um, I put a little dab of, of uh, white out on both sides just to make it a little bit easier to uh, identify which wire goes where. I always know which one. Um, hook it up, pop those wings together, and then if you cut out the foam on the wing, you have to cut out about an inch back. You can kind of see where it meets up with the fuselage. But if you cut that foam back, then those wires can be pulled all the way back there. And after you join the wings in, as you can see here, you just tuck those wires in nice and neat. And uh, after everything is joined together, you can't even tell that uh, any wires are sticking or anything like that. And it's super easy. It takes maybe about a minute to do both wings. Um, and like I said, you can just kind of break down the wings. You're not trying to thread wires through the fuselage or anything like that. Three, strengthen that spar. So um, my first flight, I had a, a small little crash and that spar broke. It's actually hollow inside. So the first thing that you guys want to do before you even fly is to make sure to beef that up. That spar is about six millimeters across. You can see here, that's the diameter of the main spar. If you have a solid carbon fiber spar that's six millimeters across, you can just replace that and then swap it out. Alternatively, I didn't have one, so I just took a little three millimeter carbon spar, slid it inside of it, um, and I just glued it in place. And that makes it a lot stronger. But definitely the, the main spar for the wings, not very strong, you wanna beef that up. Uh, number four, you wanna um, glue on those skids. So there used to be skids right here on the tail. Uh, there's a, another skid up front here on the, uh, the nose of the plane. Both of mine fell off, so they're not glued in very tightly. So if you can, you want to get some glue or tape and just tape it down there. Five, um, if you want to do some filming, if you want to put, put some FPV gear on this plane, get a nice little platform for all that gear to go. And here's my favorite method for making that. All you do is just take some one-inch foam, cut it to the size of that canopy area. I usually take a little popsicle stick, run it across, glue it in there, and then all you have to do is just take a rubber band and just loop it around the bottom and it holds it in super tight um, and it's really easy to take on and off. And so this is how I mount all my GoPros, this is how I mount all my FPV gear. Really your imagination is the limit with this stuff. Uh, like here's for example my pod for just my normal camera, here's my pod for my FPV with a GoPro. I made a little case out of foam for the GoPro. I also have a little section of one inch foam going up and I just attach my transmitter to that. Super easy. A little bit of Velcro, a little bit of foam, a little bit of hot glue, and it comes together really nicely. Last but not least, um, you want to make sure that you add flaps to this plane. So this plane, when it comes, this little strip right here is actually not glued in. 
and so it's ready for you to put in flaps. It doesn't come with the servos. So just pop in some servos um, when you first get the plane, and then you can glue that piece of foam down, and the flaps is definitely worth the time um, to put in there because it really makes landings a lot easier. It really allows you to go nice and slow if you want to do that. All right, so that is it. Um, if you guys have your own tips, tricks, modifications that you guys do for the Bixler 2, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, one modification that I haven't done yet is to upgrade the motor. So far though, the stock motor I think is great. I mean, I've been able to fly this thing, FPV, camera, GoPro, everything on there. Um, pretty much no problem with the stock motor, so it's a really nice motor. Um, like I said, leave any comments below, and that's about it. Alright, bye-bye.